Well, like many teams, scuba divers are a close knit group. And last month, members of the University of Tampa Scuba Diving and Snorkeling Club joined forces with divers from all over the Bay Area to take part in a major cleanup project, a job that they were uniquely equipped for. What exactly were they cleaning up? Beads me, but our Marissa Lynn explains. The pirates' invasion of Gasparilla lingers. Last month, scuba divers across Tampa Bay joined forces to clean up the Seddon Channel off of Davis Island. Their mission? Dig up beads flung into the water during January's festivities. What they found was much more than they could have ever expected. You'd put your hand down, grab one bead, and you'd come up with ten. I think we were pretty shocked in the, the photo of us all in that big rubber tub. 100 pounds of beads. Jim Gunderson was one of 25 divers who took part in the recovery project. They spent about three hours in the water. I had seen oyster shells that were starting to grow around some of these beads. So the, some of these beads have been down there for, for a significant period of time. On top of the beads, divers found 70 pounds of other trash, including a walker and an unopened bottle of champagne. Gunderson said divers likely missed out on a lot more trash because visibility in the water was so poor. And as soon as you get down into that sediment, you start pulling that trash up. All that sediment starts going into the water column, and it takes your visibility from a foot or so down to zero. You don't want to break uh, the strands and then lose the beads. You kind of got to move some of the oysters around and be, be a little bit more gentle with it. Those involved in the cleanup project hope to expand their efforts in the coming years. They want to involve the public too, especially those that attend Gasparilla. They are asking them to do one thing when the celebration rolls around next year. Have a great time at the festival. It's a, it's a, it's a fun experience. Have a great time. Get your beads. Keep them out of the water. Marissa Lynn, Fox 13 Sports. It really is incredible. Yeah. Uh, mm. So they called that event Gasp. Our beads yeah. out of the Tampa Bay Survey <laughs> yeah. and Cleanup Project. Uh, so it was uh, the National Association of Underwater Instructors plus the Center for Open Exploration. So yeah, that is good terrible. Good work. And I know that there's, deed. I mean, there's still a ton of stuff because of all the murkiness in the exactly. water once they started pulling that stuff up. Those it's beads, still too, by the way, a lot. Most of them are made in China. There are like no rules. There is no telling what's on those beads, and then that gets into the water. Yeah. And then contaminates the, the water. And yeah, so keep the beads yeah. keep out of the water. Keep them out of the water.